what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here just talking about halloween ends in this video here today talking about jamie lee curtis's recent comments in a new interview with salon where she was talking about lori strode and the uh significance of a final girl and what that means to her now and how she really understands how important that name is now after making this last movie now of course again i do just want to say while i do believe her words are very sincere it could also again just be a lot of things related to hyping up the movie as we all know this is marketing season the first trailer or teaser is supposed to come out this week on wednesday and everyone's gonna go crazy over that and i also wanted to talk about uh something i saw over on reddit i'm not gonna go too into too many specifics about it but we'll see if that ends up being true as well but to jump into Lori strode jamie lee curtis had the comments when speaking about Lori when it relates to halloween ends during this salon interview she stated that, I mean, when you call her a final girl, I never really understood how important that name was until I made this last movie. And now I really understand it. And I think you'll be very happy. So she's speaking in a way that now has people again thinking that Lori Strode does indeed make it out of this alive and Michael Myers bites the dust. That doesn't necessarily mean that because she survives, that he dies. There could be something that happens where she is just, again, the ultimate final girl standing and she makes it out of the movie alive. Uh, as far as her saying she never understood how important that name was until I made this last movie. I mean, honestly, you've done this role so many times. I, If it's honestly... The, if it's honestly the if whatever happened here really truly just submitted to her how important her role has been in this series i'm happy for that but at the same time i'm like what about all these other times you've done it but then again jamie lee curtis i believe has already outed herself as not really being a horror fan um there are a lot of people who actually do horror movies that aren't really horror fans they're most mostly i would say fans and respectful of the of the people who support them and their roles in the genre and they're thankful for what the genre managed to do for their career and they're thankful and more supportive of and they themselves a fan of the personal character that they know they've played in that said horror film but they're not a fan of the genre because i know a lot of people will say how can you star in horror movies and not be a fan of them well for one again at the end of the day this is still also a career for a lot of people and what are you doing in a career you're making money you know, I'm not going to knock someone for participating in a genre that they're not necessarily a fan of watching. They could easily be someone. You have to remember this. They're actors They're They could be very much so fans of making horror movies and not watching them. There are also a lot of people who are fans of acting. They will not watch their own movies. They won't do that. So I've seen some people talk about how can she be the one of the greatest final girls in like and not like horror movies i mean she's not obligated to you can easily star in a bunch of horror movies because you like making them and you enjoy the benefits that come from it but you yourself don't plan on sitting down and you know becoming a horror film fanatic <laughs> it's just not going to happen for you if you're not a horror fan but her comments again have people thinking that this is again more evidence that Lori will make it out alive michael will not as far as Lori making it out alive one way or another i'm a little bit like still indifferent to it if she dies she dies but i would just prefer it be done in a way that is more respectful than what we saw in resurrection uh if she lives then she just lives and hopefully that is also done in a way that's very much so more respectful of an exit as opposed to her original exit from the franchise in a now erased timeline from resurrection so we'll see how that which also resurrection recently celebrated its 20th anniversary so shout out to that movie uh one of the only positives i think i'll be able, i'll be saying about this movie for some while till i talk about it again <laughs> And now just to transition over to the other topics, we know that according to people who attended the test screenings, and I've seen viewer Non also tweeted that the movie isn't really centered on Lori. It seems to be centered on this character named Corey, portrayed by Rohan Campbell. And that has some people feeling some type of way about it. Honestly, again, Lori Strode, Jamie Lee Curtis, he has so much development already. I do think that just because it's focused on Corey, that doesn't mean that Lori herself won't have any new arcs to deal with and we won't have any new developments for her. She still has Allison, who I, I guess is going to be connected to Corey in some way. So at the end of the day, though, I guess it's just more important to remember that if they're trying to establish a new character like Corey, who's going to be at the center of it all, uh, 
and I know Viewer Not tweeted something about exploring these, exploring the impacts of evil and the impact the 2018 events had on the town, I guess, stuff like that. If this is all somehow connected to Corey and some new event that they are responsible for, I'm not surprised that they, of course, would need to spend a lot of time with Corey. If that's the person they want to focus on as it pertains to the route and direction they're taking for their movie. It's just going to be up to me to first see it to say, OK, this direction worked or it didn't work. Because if Lori takes a major setback and then all of a sudden she's just all over the screen in the final act, maybe it does come off a little bit strange, honestly. But again, it depends on how it's depicted on screen because Allison also apparently will have a bigger role than what I was initially thinking according to people from these test screenings so again i'm really excited to see how it all plays out i know some people have their doubts because some people are giving negative reviews from the test screening they attended some people are giving positive reviews the important thing to remember here is that there were two cuts if nobody's disclosing what cut they saw maybe the two cuts are, are going to be the biggest difference here we also don't know what cut we'll see ultimately in october i guess when this comes out but um as far as Lori strode again if Lori ends up dying then she just dies but it's just hopefully something that's done in a more respectful way jamie lee curtis's comments about Lori, i know have some people feeling some type of way like oh i can't believe the end is here we're not gonna see her again yeah you're not gonna see her again maybe most likely but i wouldn't get too down on it because i believe you'll still have michael myers movies in the future you'll still get to see the shape you'll still get to see um michael myers in some fashion in the future you just won't see jamie lee curtis at the center of it again also again going back to the reddit thing because i i actually didn't touch on that yet there's something over on reddit that claims to be from someone who's going to remove their account they're saying they've seen the teaser it's pretty short it has a voiceover and some other clips and montages and stuff i don't think it's real i really do think on wednesday we're going to get the CinemaCon footage but you can head over to reddit and find that post i'll leave a link in link to it in the description there's a reddit post that again is claiming they know details about the trailer because they've seen it let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course and let me know any movies news or reviews you should let me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video